Shalom Ya Sharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there. Spreading this word in truth and sincerity. Inshallah, warm to the few Akwathium that be listening in today. Back at you with another lesson entitled The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay? This is why we can't just try and gather the nation on our own, round up some guns, guns round up some guns and, and, and you know, artillery. And then try and fight against this devil, man. We are going to need divine intervention in order to, to, to overcome this devil. To prevail against Esau, Edom. And that's why we are waiting for Yahweh Shai to return. That's why we are waiting for the spirit of the Lord to lift up a standard against us. Against them, Salaki. You know, we are not going to bringing the kingdom of heaven via our own carnal means man okay really and truly the way we're gonna get the kingdom of heaven or, or get there is uh by doing what we're doing now you know staying in the spirit uh, uh doing things that please the lord to the best of your ability uh, acquiring wisdom knowledge and understanding okay those things will lead to the kingdom, salvation, first of all, the kingdom, and then in us uh, overthrowing our enemies, man. But we ain't going to do that via carnal means, okay? You know, it says that in Wisdom of Solomon 6, if your desire be in, in thrones and scepters, seek wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. So, really, we fight this fight by doing exactly what we're doing, man. Going to the highways and the byways, doing the sit-downs, you know, uh, studying, okay? Staying in the spirit. That's how we're going to bring forth the kingdom of heaven. Because do you not realize that by the very words that we speak, we are literally bringing the downfall of this kingdom we are literally speaking it into existence, man. That's powerful. All these things are happening around the world. All these calamities, all these woes, the destruction of this society because Yahweh Hashem Shai put the spirit on you to teach his word. To preach it. That it can be heard throughout the four corners of the earth. What does it say in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2? <laughs> Excuse me. It says how um, the Lord is going to destroy this place uh, via the spirit of his mouth. What's the spirit of his mouth? You know, the prophets teaching this word. And then it says afterwards, and then by the brightness of his coming. What's the brightness of his coming? Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Those so-called uh, uh, UFOs. Okay. Coming to wreak, to, uh, reap havoc. On this, on this wicked kingdom, man. So, you know, this is why you have to understand what you're involved in. We ain't, this ain't no small thing, man. This, this is, uh, this is major stuff that we're doing, man. And that's why what we're doing pretty much can be likened onto treason. Okay, we're trying to gather people, the elect, right? Ultimately, to come up against this government. And, 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 and to bring its downfall, which is obviously going to happen through uh, Yahweh Shai returning. But this, what we're doing, can be likened unto treason, man. Okay? So let's bring out the precepts. We're going to start here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. And it reads, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. 
and you know one of the major strongholds that we had was Christianity and that's still a major stronghold for many Jakes out there man you know they they can't come out of that that's why it's called a stronghold you know because no, no matter how much you try and show Jake that this is the truth this is the way Jake um he don't want to hear it, man. Okay? He thinks you're just talking out your ass. Even if you bring out the facts to back up what you're saying. That's because they're under that, that mighty stronghold, man. Okay? Verse 5. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. So ultimately, everyone's going to have to submit to the truth, man. Two third of the nation of Israel and these heathens too. They're going to be, oh yeah, uh, yeah, in the kingdom, you, you, you're going to be a Muslim. You're, you're going to uh, be a Buddhist. No, man, you either follow the ways of Yahabah Shem Yahashai or you die, man. There's no way around it. Okay. Let's go to uh, Ephesians chapter 6. And verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You know, when we go through different situations, no matter what it is that we deal with, we need to be strong in the Lord, man. We're not meant to resort to to carnal methods, carnal means of trying to sort things out, all right, we need to be thinking spiritually, not thinking carnally, thinking via the flesh, because that's what's going to get you killed, man, that's what's going to get you judged, right, verse 11, put on the whole armor of the most high, that ye be, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, how do you put on the whole armor of the Heavenly Father? <gasps> By uh, staying in the truth, you know, staying in the spirit, getting lost in the scriptures, you know, so you, you stick your head down into the scriptures, you watch the sit-downs, you do the work, okay? That's how you put on the armor of the Heavenly Father, man. Because you see, you, you got some carnalites out there you know, some carnal Israelites, the whole armor of God, and they're going to probably try and find some old ancient relic. Oh, yeah, 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 this is the armor of God, yeah, yeah. No, man, it's, it's spiritual, okay? Just like in Ezekiel 9 and 4, it said, set a mark upon them that sigh and cry for the abominations that go happen there, uh, there of, roughly paraphrasing, all right, that word mark is the what? That's a spiritual mark. The elect are going to have that thawar, man. That spiritual mark of exemption. But the wicked, including two-thirds of the nation of Israel, are going to have the uh, uh, the karagma, which is the physical mark, the MOTB, the C-HIP. Okay, so this is, all, this is spiritual, man. Okay, and that's why... It says in the scriptures it is impossible to please the heavenly father without faith. Because you, you have to believe that when all is said and done and this pops off, the Lord is going to come and save you, man. And it's going to fight for you. And that's not an easy thing to believe because, you know, uh, well, what is faith? Faith is, is, is to believe in the things uh, uh, that you can't see, man. As You know, let me just uh, bring it out in Hebrews 11, man. I'm just butchering it. So like you. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yeah, we can't physically see the Lord, the angels. But we have faith that they're there and they uh, 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 protect us, work on our minds, give us divine inspiration, so on and so forth. Okay. For by it, elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, so that things which are seen were made of things which 
were not made of things which do appear. Okay? So that's what it means to have faith, man. We've got to believe in the things which you don't see with, with your carnal eyes. Okay? So when we read that the Lord is going to fight for us, he's going to defend his elect, you know, we have to uh, believe that, man, not get all carnal like, yeah, man, let me just get a... Uh, round up some guns, round up some, some guys and, you know, round up an army and then we're going to take Esau ourselves, man. No, the Heavenly Father is going to fight for us, man, through Yahweh Shai, redeeming us, okay? Let's go back to, uh, Ephesians chapter 6. In verse 12, for we, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities which are demons, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay? So that's what we're fighting against, man. We ain't, we ain't fighting against, you know, madman Tom down the street, man. He was he trying to have a punch up? No, man. We we are literally fighting forces, man. You know, these demons try to uh, infiltrate your thoughts. These demons be jumping on people, trying to mess with you. Okay. You know, you're warring against your own flesh. You see? As in like like you're 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 fighting battles in your mind. You know, read Romans chapter seven, man. Uh, we're, we're not we're not fighting against against uh, uh, um, 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 you know other tangible physical things, man. We are fighting spiritual battles, okay. Sometimes you sit in there think you're going crazy, man. But 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 you know, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So when we uh, experience a spiritual attack, we've got to double down on our faith, man. We've got to double down on 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 you know. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, being f uh, fruitful in the work, doing the things that, that are pleasing unto the Heavenly Father. Prayer, pray prayer is important, man. Prayer is so important. First Thessalonians 5 and 17, pray without ceasing. That's That should be our first defense, man. Not, oh, shit, oh, what am I going to do? And then after you try plan A, B, and C, and none of that's worked, okay, let me just pray. And let me turn to the Lord now. No, that's the, the Lord wants you to turn to him first. Because we're heading into a time where we're going to need the Lord to defend us, man. We're going to need to be crying out unto the Lord. You know, we're, we're going into a time where we're going to understand that if the Lord don't fight for us, we ain't making it, man. Okay, so let's read on. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Yeah, we have to put our best foot forward, man. You know, you know, we want the Lord to, to fight for us, but we've got to fight for the Lord now. We've got to stand stiffly for his name. Okay. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Isaiah 33 and 6 says how uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that hand, right? Because um, pretty much, you know, everyone's going to be bugging out, going crazy, trying to understand why these things are going on, why these things are happening, you yeah. know, because... uh. It says in First Thessalonians 5 and 3 that um, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, you know. So you, you, you're you going to have them trying to resort to carnal means to resolve whatever it is they're dealing with, you see. But we know that that what we're, we're doing the best thing anyone else, anyone could ever do, man. You know, first of all, we're blessed to even be given the opportunity you know, by the Lord granting us with uh, wisdom, knowledge and understanding. OK, you know, every day we wake up in the truth is because Yahweh Shai just keeps us in the truth. Now, we didn't even decide that we was going to wake up to this truth. OK. So um, 
verse 14, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and we are made righteous through having the uh, understanding of this Bible, man. Having the understanding of, uh, uh, you know, the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Because we are in this wicked, sinful flesh. We can't keep the law, statutes, and commandments perfectly, man. We're going to need those new bodies spoken of in 1 Corinthians 15 in order for us to uh, uh, be completely sinless, man. But regardless, we still rehearse the righteous acts, as it says in Judges 5 and 11, or verse 12, okay? Uh, verse 15, Ephesians 6 and 15, And your feet shod, with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, Hebrews 11 and 6. For without faith, it is impossible to please the heavenly father, man. So you need to have that faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right? So no matter what Esau Edom throws at you, man, it ain't going to deter you of your faith. You believe in that the Lord is going to um, fight for you. And, 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 and ultimately, you're going to have the upper hand. Okay. Um, verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. Okay. And this word is so powerful, man. Through understanding this word. We now know who we are, we now know who our enemies are, we now know why we're in this position, we now know our destiny, our future, we know the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, which is the most important thing, okay? So this is the sword of the Spirit, man. And you best believe the Lord is about to raise up uh, 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 um, His elect with spiritual power, man. You best believe that. Okay, thou art my battle axe on weapons of war, Jeremiah 51 and 20 on down, right? Verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance, persevere, all right? No matter what it is we're going through, we have to persevere, man, you know? It says, he who endures until the end the same shall be saved. So we have to endure. Okay. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Right. So let's go to Isaiah 59. We'll start at verse 15. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Yeah, because pretty much, you know, we live in a wicked society right now. So now you come into this truth, trying to live a righteous life, and uh, you make yourself a prey. You make yourself a prey for um, uh, these demons to try and mess with you, man. Try and uh, 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 take you out the truth. You know, what did Yahweh Shai say to Peter? That um, Satan have desire to sift him, man. So constantly you're fighting these demons off that are trying to uh, get you to go off. Get you to uh, denounce the name of the Lord. Go back into Christianity. Go back into Islam. Go back into the world. Okay. It says, and the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness, it sustained him. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to redeem us, man. Okay. And um he also makes intercession for us 
in the heavens, man. You know, he'd be fighting our cause to the heavenly father, because you know, we in this wicked sinful flesh, so we can't um you know, uh, uh, we can't get the law, statutes, and commandments completely right. But Yahweh Shai makes intercession for us, man. He fights our case. He's like, oh no, but he's a fruitful brother. You know, he's uh, uh, showing brotherly love and kindness. You know, he's doing your work. He's teaching your word and truth and sincerity. You know, and, and, and things of that nature, man. So we ain't going to make it without Yahweh Shai. You know? That's why, you know, he, he 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 did the ultimate sacrifice, man, which was dying uh, 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 um, for the nation of Israel, man, so that we now have a chance to get into the good graces of the Heavenly Father. Because right now, the Heavenly Father can't even look upon us, man, because we are too filthy, man. We are way too filthy. OK. So Yahweh Shai deals with us. Right. Verse 17, for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and an helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. See, God, see, having this true understanding, that's where it's at, man. That's the defense. OK. Verse 18, according to their deeds. Accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversities, sorry, adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay recompense. So, yeah, man, because no one here is, is actively fighting our cause and uh, 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 trying to say, hey, like, you know, what Esau is doing is wrong and, and we ain't going to stand for this, which is why, you know, well, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 says how. Uh, we shall be sold into Egypt again for bondmen and bondwomen and no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall redeem you, man. So no one has come and redeemed us out of this low situation that we're in, man. OK, but Yahweh Shai is going to come and redeem his elect. OK. Uh, Verse 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So when Esau, Edom tries to make a move on the prophets, you know, he tries to come against the Lord's people. Well, then that's when um, the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard against them, man. And Esau, Edom ain't going to be able to prevail against uh, uh, um, um, Yahweh Shai and the holy angels, man. Okay. So, you know, we, we need to wait on the Lord, man. We ain't going to take matters into our own hands and try and fight this devil ourselves, man. All right. We need Yahweh Shai. Okay. We need to, you know, we can't be thinking about this carnally, man. We need to see it through the spirit. And trust in the spirit of the Lord, man. Okay. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 5. Verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. And the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom. And a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. You can read about that in 2nd Ezra 2. Around the 42nd verse on down. OK, for with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm shall he protect them. So this is why, you know, we, we need to uh, have our gird, uh, our loins girded up uh, with truth, meaning having the true understanding of this Bible, man, and keeping it within our hearts, within our minds, the La'ab, because that's the true defense, man. You know, we, we are defenseless right now. We need the Lord. OK. Verse 17, he shall take to him jealousy for his complete armor and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. OK, and, 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 and you know, as it reads in Jeremiah 51 and 20, thou art my battle acts and weapons of war. And as we read in Isaiah 59 and 19, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, 
then the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. You know, the Lord is getting ready to, to turn his, uh, uh, um, his elect men into uh, um, complete killing instruments, man. You know, and, and these devils ain't going to be able to prevail, man. First John 3 and 2 says how, though it does not... Uh, uh, damn. Let me just get it, man. I can't even say it off head right now. Uh, First John. Uh, First John three and two. Beloved, now we the sons of God, and it's so lucky. I just received the phone call. It says, uh, First John three and two. Beloved, now we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear. We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And we know that Yahweh Shai, he ain't going to meet them as a man. Uh, he's coming as an all-powerful, conquering, angelic force, man. And it says that we shall be like him. Okay? So that's the hope that we have, man. That's the faith that we have. Right? We ain't going to try and round up as many guns as we can and wherever else, man, we're going to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's our only hope, man. That's the only way we're really going to prevail against this devil, man. And things, and that's the only way things will be set in its proper order. All right? So, yeah, man, I just wanted to touch on that real quick in this lesson. So, yeah, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.